There'll be a host of great names, George Best, Kevin Keegan to name but two. It's their own special tribute to the former Leeds and England manager Don Revy, who's been stricken by the terminal motor neurone disease. Clarence Mitchell reports. When Don Revy last returned to Welland Road in September, the effects of the muscle-wasting disease were clear for all to see. There was an emotional reunion with the current Leeds manager, Billy Bremner, one of the protégés of the glory days. Few honours had eluded United during a magnificent spell in the 70s under Revy's leadership. He created a family atmosphere off the field, an uncanny talent for retaining possession on the field and a particularly lethal formation in attack. Less than two years ago, Revy discovered he had motor neurone disease. At the moment, it's incurable. It causes progressive weakness and paralysis. Revy and his wife Elsie have done much to highlight the plight of its sufferers. When I played around the golf, the legs start to ache at the back and, uh, and the bottom of my back. And then when I got home and had a hot bath and got settled down a bit, it used to go away. But then gradually got a little bit worse and a little bit worse. So I said to Elsie, I think I better have this checked out. So I went down to London first, and they did muscle tests and all kinds of things. And uh, he said it points to motor neuron done. So I said, well, what's that? I've never heard of that. So he told me uh, what it meant, um, that it meant that it eventually would possibly go into the arms and, and the fingers. And it can affect your speech and your throat and all kind of things like it did with David Niven. Because it's easy to go and hide in a corner. And you said, go down, you could have gone down the quiet road and just drifted out of things. But um, I think, it, I've always been the fellow that's faced the music um, over the years with England Job and Leeds United and all kind of things. Uh, and this is the music I've got to face again. Mrs. Reeve will be with Don at tonight's match in Leeds, the city he still considers home. Well, he cares for people and always has done. He's done tremendous things himself for charity when he was a player and when he was a manager. And he just actually loves people. I mean, uh, I think all Don's friends, all his players will say that he's a great humanitarian. And uh, I think uh, it's lovely that this is happening for him now. And of course, he's thrilled to bits to be back in Leeds, because Leeds is still home to Don. You know, he's a Yorkshireman, is it, anyway? But I mean, we always consider Leeds as home for him, really be a great event. Research, that's the crippling disease from which the former Leeds United manager Don Reavy is suffering. John Helm was there. The years came rolling back at Elland Road with Don Reavy surrounded by the men who helped him build Leeds United into one of the greatest club sides in the world. The greatest quality he had was his man management because he had under his roof about 18 full internationals and he knew how to uh, handle us all and get the best out of each other and he created a marvellous atmosphere at the club. Good players, good manager and it was a pleasure to be here. Coming over to, to you Jack, I'm sure you didn't always agree with him but I'm sure no. you learned a bit from him as well. No, no, his man management I was just thinking when he was always on because Don used to go on a Friday he'd come and put his arm around you and that meant you weren't playing. <laughs> <laughs> he is legionated because he's... When he was here, it didn't matter if he was here, uh, actually at the ground. He could be in Scotland, but he was here. His presence was always here. It's about three, three years since I saw a game down here. And, uh, obviously, uh, I think it was very important that I came tonight, uh, especially for, uh, for Don Reeve. Kevin Keegan had even come from his home in Spain to honour Reeve. I think outside of uh, Bill Shankly, I, I would say he's a very close second to Bill Shankly. And in my life, you know, that, that is the highest accolade I can give anyone. Nearly all the players whose names will be synonymous with Leeds United's finest triumphs were there to form a guard of honour around their boss, who clearly found it hard to choke back the tears. Among the stars assembled to play for Don Reeves' International eleven were Graham Souness playing his last game before retiring, and Paul Gascoigne, the game's rising star of Newcastle United. Making a guest appearance in goal for Leeds was England's Peter Shilton, soon to be embarrassed by Gascoigne. But the biggest cheer of the night was reserved for Norman Hunter. Perhaps it was fitting that the winning goal for Leeds in their 2-1 victory should go to today's hottest property at Elland Road, John Sheridan. Over 7,000 fans raised £24,500 for motor neurone research. But the emotion of the night forced Don Reavy to leave early.
I had to jump again to tear his mouth, but I did. And uh, it's very kind of all these players who've travelled thousands of miles to be here. And for Billy and all these players to do a good job for me. And a good, a good crowd turned out. And uh, everybody's been very kind. Well, that was Don Revy last night. Uh, I did hear that Alan Clark had turned up to play, but he forgot his boots. Well... Charlie Nicholas, Graham Souness and Ray Wilkins, to name but four. The match was a charity tribute to the former Leeds and England manager Don Reevy for his courageous fight against the incurable motor neuron disease. Clarence Mitchell was at the game. The fans came in their thousands to pay tribute to Don. Some of them too young to remember that magnificent spell in the 70s when Reeves' inspired Leeds team captured every honour in the game. <laughs> the players were all there too. Charlton, Bremner, Clark, Gray, Hunter, Giles and Maidley. We were a family, a team. All the lads are still very good friends to this to this day, and we all think a great deal of Don. And uh, it was a, a very special relationship that you built up over a lot, a lot, of, a lot of period, a lot of years. There's one thing I'll say that, and I think typifies his character uh, and the character he set into the whole set, of the, the team that he had here at that particular time, was that this isn't an easy thing for him tonight to come here. Um, this is very difficult because he's coming here. Uh, he's always been quite a private man and he and kept himself private. And this is hard for him to come here and show himself in the state he's in tonight. So he must feel really uh, that he has a cause to prove here. And just hopefully that the crowd will respond in the manner we hope that by coming through the turnstiles. battler he's a fighter and uh, uh, I just hope and pray that there's a cure for this because uh, he's too young he's, he's got so much to give he's a very he's a great person forget managing that's got nothing to do with it you know he doesn't have to prove himself there but as a person he was a great inspiration to players like myself and many others and all those lads you just saw there the old Leeds team and it's a, f a fitting match this evening, fitting that it should be played. Oh, lovely to play it here. I mean, just when I look round here, I can remember playing here when really just that one stand was there. And I look round really and it's, it's, it's Revy Stadium. You can't take that away from the man. He put it here. Some of these young players probably can't even remember him. But, you know, he shouldn't be forgotten. The game itself was almost a sideshow. Paul Gascoigne opened the scoring for the All-Stars. and Leeds equalised with this one from Ian Baird. Then this magnificent shot from John Sheridan put the seal on it for Leeds, a most fitting victory. Jumped again to tear his mouth, but I did. And uh, it's very kind of all these players who've travelled thousands of miles to be here, and for Billy and all these players to do a good job for me. And a good, a good crowd turned out, and uh, everybody's been very kind. You know what? I would have loved to have seen that great Leeds team. Hello again, Leeds United Football.